What a joyful moment watching you win that Tony. And you, you're, you're just, your story is so clear. You're like, I have wanted this since I was a kid. Yes. This is the dream. But I also didn't know that I was gonna get it. I told you uh, earlier that like, you know, I didn't get into any school for a BFA. Like all the schools that I applied to quite literally said no. So the journey when you're looking at musical theater as a career is, you know, you audition, you audition, you go to school, you get a BFA, and you come to New York, you struggle. I didn't do any of that because no one accepted me. Yeah. Mainly because I didn't fit in their box, which is fine, but I know that now. But back then I didn't think that I would ever be here because I wasn't supposed to be. And you're still a nice person, and you not everybody was nice to you all the time. I mean, no. you, you fought to get to this place. I have fought tooth and nail to get here. You know, doors close, they open, windows crack, <laughs> and somehow you get shards of glass in you, but somehow you still make it sometimes. Now, when you give a speech like this tonight, uh -huh. there's an extra weight to it, because you know this is going to be one of those speeches the children are going to be watching on YouTube yes. and, and, you know, seeing what you said. And, of course, because and I was one of those kids. I was always watching to see who would inspire me to actively want to keep doing it most times. It's not just about wanting to do it. Keeping doing it yeah. is a big part of it. Hey, baby, that's my friend. <laughs> I'm yes. sober, I promise. Please Come in. in. Come in. here. We going to do this? Yeah. yeah. We're going to do this. <laughs> You look fabulous. Oh, oh come on, Faboosh. <laughs> <laughs> you two superstars just walked into history together tonight. Yeah. Talk about sort of the walking, doing this together and what going through this whole season as friends and sort of experiencing each other or you're now you friends. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah. You're my pal and my confidant. Listen, <laughs> okay. No, it is, it is quite literally wonderful to have someone that is your rock, that is on the same level, the same trajectory, the same mindset, wavelength, all of that. Because imagine doing this alone. You don't have a support system. And I could call, text, beat. If I wanted to reach you, I could have. And I'm so happy to have had that with you, yeah. my auntie sister. Truly that, truly that. Like, every time we get together, it doesn't have to be like, all the time but when we do it's just auntie energy and it's like the understanding of i have a touchstone i have a place where it's a soft landing that i'm like i, I know no words need to be said i got you this is a community that loves trailblazers that loves original voices just look at the, the array of winners tonight i mean it's a beautiful array of people and we heard a lot in the speeches about individual voices and about these voices that broadway brings the world yeah what's it like to be a part of that and what's it like to celebrate with these people at a party like this. It's humbling and grounding um, to be so confident in a place in my life where I know who I am solidly and I, I protect my peace and my joy at all costs and know that I have to live in my intention, my purpose with love. I just got to do what makes sense to me and everything else is noise. Is it amazing that Broadway sort of you found you both found this home together in Broadway. Does this feel like the community where this would happen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very. All right, Paul. You know I got to go drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>